Who's the hardest boss in Elden Ring? The Limgrave Tibia Mariner, obviously, but we can't make that into a build. So I guess we'll do Melania in NG+, because even though I don't really love NG, y'all seemed to vibe with the Merica video, and I'm all about how you're seeming. To watch these runs live, follow me on Twitch. We're finding new ways to play Elden Ring all the time. If you want some more of these videos and you've binged everything on YouTube, check out the Patreon. We have some exclusive bonus episodes that are a little niche. You like Persona? We did a Persona one. And make sure you're subscribed. We're pretty close to hitting a funny number of subscribers, and I want one of you to be the funny number. Now, let's get started with a little bit of setup. We'll kick it off as a Night Sorcerer at level 150 because we gotta do NG+. It's pretty easy, we just gotta cash in Melania's Hole for Melania's Hand, a katana that's really long, almost as long as the Nagakiba. It has Bleed, not Rot, despite Melania not making you bleed at all, but okay. And it has a Waterfowl Dance at home. Real Wish.com Waterfowl Dance Energy, we'll talk about it more later. Renala will be happy to fix our stats and fix our look as long as we hold her Egg Baby for a second. We used to have slicked back hair, maxed out int, and only use Night Comet. God, I miss those nights. Sorceries. I was a piece of shit, though. People can change. Our first enemy with this sword is a large dog that doesn't fight back. Are ducks better than dogs? Yes. Now we can get another one of Melania's holes and trade that in for her flower. Just gotta upgrade some stuff. EG gives us somber stones. We grab the spirit calling bell to drunk text Finlay at 1 a.m. And then get the somber bell bearing four and five from Farrah Missoula. Only enough runes to get this sort of plus six now. Hey, that might make this putrid avatar in the consecrated snowfield kind of tough. Not really. I think it recognizes us as the goddess of rot and lets us give it a quick pruning. It's not for the runes though or not just for the runes, it's also to help us feel thorny later with the thorny cracked tier. That gives us a boost to our damage when we combo up to 20%. And the ducky dance actually works for it, which isn't guaranteed. Some weapon arts don't do that that have multiple hits. More upgrades, then we pop into our brother's house for the Erd Tree Seal. Not one of the brothers we like, one of the ones from our dad's previous marriage. Only met him once, and he just kept feeding his snake mice and breathing heavily while making eye contact. Let's not stick around. Okay, let's go to our other brother's house. Another one we don't like, this one from our mom's previous marriage. God, I miss Mikola. Wish he was here, anywhere near here. Practice some of our moves on the Albert Eriks, that's really what they're here for, and we get the Somber Stone 10 as a reward for setting the combo record. Nice. Now our sword is capped off. Next up, another unfavorite brother's house, Radon. It's so sandy in here. Jesus, sweep up if you're having a party. Alex is the only one here cleaning up the rest of the snacks. At least someone's cleaning. You know what, Alex? Let's head to the hot tub. <sighs> you know, this isn't the vibe either. Want to meet up in a crumbling fortress outside of time and space? Good news gamers, you can swag jump with the ducky dance and it is glorious. I know Alex is a hungry guy so I tried giving him an onion and it agreed with him a little too well. I don't know if you can rot him. Let's do some dancing instead. Then we'll head to grab the somber dragonstone 10 from the bird run but uh... Dude, where's my somber dragon smithing stone. Must have grabbed this one for the staff in the comet run. Should have remembered that. Anastia has a stone, and this dance is pretty good for NPCs. With one pretty moony exception. Real mom hours. We're just running errands so much. Being an adult is exhausting. Our girlfriend Finlay needs a ride home from LFL, but we should probably get her some medicinal ghost glove wart from the Twin Maidens. She has this condition where TV isn't as fun to watch and chips don't taste as good without it. If you don't like that I'm using a spirit ash, why don't you visit the Cope and Seedwater Cave? It's a big, long poison swamp, and it takes us a while to actually get poisoned. Makes sense that the Melania set would have good immunity. These Kindred of Rot worship us, makes them die pretty easily. That gives us the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation for 20% more damage after we rot or poison someone. It only lasts 20 seconds, but we're gonna kill things pretty fast. Spirit Caller Cave next against some bosses that can't bleed or rot, the Godskin Boo. I hate ghosts and they hate me. This is where I learned that the Ducky Dance you have does not have the super armor Melania does because it doesn't have any any super armor. Maybe there's a bit of a poise increase, but we just get swatted out of the air over and over again. Can't believe my bad habits from fighting games carried over to Elden Ring. Why can't I stop jumping? This is a learning moment. Remember, I'm doing this for the first time live. Didn't know how this stuff worked. It goes better when we wait for the last move of a combo and then dive in. That'll give us the Godskin Swaddling Cloth to heal on combos. Also works well with the Ducky Dance and lets us trade a little bit. Always fun. Uh-oh, Millicent's having trouble at school? Doesn't help that she left her prosthesis in the Shaded Castle 
castle, and of course we have to go get it for her. Love the girl to death, but sometimes I feel like she wants us to take that literally. Buy a shot of fireball from the twin maiden. Sometimes mom needs a little something to get her through the day. Maybe throwing fireballs at the putrid tree spirit isn't a millennia move necessarily, but it doesn't really start until we hit NG+. I guess that's a rule that I made up, sure. Everything we do here is prologue. Apparently one of Millicent's cousins is bullying her. Yeah, think about that. The Godskin Apostles are Millicent's cousins. If Melina is one of Radagon and America's kids anyway. We do the disciplining. Melina won't because she's a deadbeat mom. No. Well, didn't Melita burn to death of the giant kiln? Yeah, every mom has their struggles. No excuses. Three different locations to talk to Millicent again, then we can help her deal with her other bullies, her sisters. Sorry, girls, mom plays favorites, and the favorite is Millie. She gives us the Rotten Winged Insignia for 13% damage boost from our max combos. It's a nice Mother's Day gift. A little late because it's November, but points for trying. At this point, we just gotta buy up all the rune arcs we can, and we're ready to roll the credits. Wow, we already beat the game? That's the power of a good onion. And for other good onions and other tasty ingredients, why don't you check out today's sponsor, Factor. Hey everybody, this video is sponsored by Factor. Factor is a meal delivery service that sends you ready to eat meals right to your door. So if it's getting a little cold in your neck of the woods and you don't wanna go out to the grocery store or go out to a restaurant, Factor's got you set up. These meals take two minutes to prepare, but they're never frozen so the flavor is still popping people. No matter what your dietary restrictions are, Factor has you covered. I personally love the calorie smart option. Check out this turkey mac and cheese. 490 calories on that plate. Are you kidding me? But if you're looking to get shredded, they got protein plus. If you're looking to get shredded vegetables, they have vegan and vegetarian options as well. No matter what you need, Factor wants to hook you up. Another great thing about Factor, no cleanup. I know I'm constantly spending time scrubbing away at dishes if I don't have any Factor. If I have Factor, I have to wash a fork, maybe a knife, pretty nice. Factor is also giving Tulak and Mango subscribers a special deal. Go to factor75.com and enter offer code HEIGHT50 or click the link in the description and you'll get 50% off your first Factor box. So don't waste time going to get groceries, going to a restaurant, stay home, make a Factor meal in two minutes and get back to gaming. Now I'm gonna get back to gaming in this video. Let's see how good the onion and dancing combo is against NG plus bosses with the grafted scion. Wow. But we still have to die, so cowabunga. Where did Melania bury her arm after she lost it to Rot? Limgrave. Say hi to our sister, probably. She gives us a horse, uh, another one? I guess having doubles is good. That way I know I have a pristine one in storage and then I can drive it and get scratched. I don't care. Stop at the church of our mom, and then we can imagine the ducky dance in Fort Height. We actually don't do any Fort Height dances. Instead, just go right to the Dragon Barrow and into Fort Pharaoh for the other piece of the Dectus medallion. But we're not getting those just yet. Millicent has a tummy ache and is hanging out in the Church of the Plague. I, uh, I think I know where the tummy ache came from. Fall down with style into Celia, and then we hit up O'Neill. I just want to dance on him, but carefully. You need to leave room for Rot Jesus. Wait, that would be Melania, right? Divinely blessed, sacrificed her Self to be resurrected, absolutely savage with a katana. Yeah, that's Jesus. Get the medicine from Gowry and then give Millie the medicine and force her to write a thank you note. Personally, if I had to write a thank you note or not die from Rod, I choose death but Gowry isn't here to accept the thank you, so, uh, weak. Our next stop is Altus, but there's a giant lake in between. Thankfully, as a waterfowl, we're adept at just floating through the lake. Warp, jump, key, warp, warp to Bellum, get some rune arcs, this guy will sell them, and we're in Altus in less than 10 minutes. That's some learning of speed. Now that we're here, we stop at the Erd Tree Gazing Hill, and Millie left her arm in the shaded castle again. I swear she would leave her head behind if it was a prosthesis. That's fine, we can run in, grab the arm, give her the arm, and fight another Godskin Apostle. It's a little stronger than it was in Basic New Game, but I know how to avoid the attacks a little bit better. After that's done, we can take Millie to the mother-daughter dance. Give her a flower first, of course. It's just a nice thing to do. Also, she can be rotted after getting the anti-rot needle? Hey, what? Oh well, we get her hand, and she's just gonna take a little nap. That's plus five to our decks, and 11% more damage after a sizable enough combo. Time to be a duck in a storm, specifically a storm veil. We wait for Margit to make a move, then hit him with a dance. These combos are stacking up huge damage, and stacking up huge bleed status effect. Like, I think it should probably be rot, but bleed is probably better. This last dance barely didn't finish him, so we finish him with the onions, for style points. 
Onions. After Gostock opens the gate, we hit him with an onion, and then hope that the rot will just kill him as we run through the castle. Halfway through, it looks like he is still taking ticks. But by the time we stop at the final grace, he's healthy again. Shoot. Cannon fight. Godric and Melania fought once before in the Shattering War. It didn't work out well for him. It doesn't go well for him this time either. Despite winning the arms race by about 50 to 1, it doesn't really matter. He can catch these hands. He can catch this one hand. One, one of Melania's hand. We're comboing him up. Now we can activate his great rune, and I noticed something. We were really close to having one, two, three, four, five, six runes. Maybe killing birds could get us there? No, that gives us nine. But wait, if we put on the golden scarab, it would give us a 20% rune boost, which I think would round up to 11. That's perfect. I don't even want to be around anymore. Another cannon fight, Radon. Since it's a cannon fight and none of the summons are clean rots, let me solo him. We back up to start the melee phase early, something nobody actually knows about. You can back up to start the melee phase earlier. Then we lead with our best move. <laughs> This fight is actually already over. We could literally just get on the pony and ride around until the Scarlet Rot consumes his flesh. But Melania ain't no coward. We go hard in the paint and duck under his swings while we ducky under his swings. Dude doesn't even hit phase two. Don't ever talk to me or my little brother again. I love that this is one of the most iconic fights in the lore. It's in the trailer. It's the reason Kaled is Kaled, and we're not really sure why they're fighting. He was probably just like on her way to Mogwin or something. Raya Lucaria time, and I don't think there is any canon interaction between Melania and Renala in the lore. She's just like our dad's ex-wife. As someone whose dad has an ex-wife, multiple actually, just know that your dad's ex is probably a full person who has reasons for their actions and is doing their best, not an evil witch who's trying to ruin their life. Anyway, we kill her dog anyway. Chat didn't believe that our ducky dance can be parried, so let's demonstrate. Yeah, really didn't need that death, but we'll count it. Renala gets destroyed, and it's her kid's fault, just like the divorce was. The combo talisman raises damage every time you land an attack. If you land an attack against multiple targets, it counts as multiple hits. So not only do we get the full ducky combo number, every stray hit that hit one of her kids boosts our damage even higher. If you want to know exactly how much damage you can do with your combos maxed out and think, eh, well, there's no place I'll get that, here you go. That's lots of damage. It looks like we're doing doing bleed chunks with every hit. Time to go underground. The mimic gets rotted, then danced. The dance is really good against NPCs. The hits break poise, and it's great. You know, unless they parry you. Light all the torches, torches get lit, and we hit the ancestor spirit. It sprays a bunch of splatoon juice on the dance floor, but the healing from Godskin Swaddling Cloth basically makes up for the damage we take from the juice on the floor. While we're in the air, sure, that checks out. Carry a manor next. Damn, is this Finlay's house? Because she might not be able to carry a manor, but she sure did carry a Melania. Loretta. Will it blend? That is the question. Yes. Yes, indeed. Say hi to Ronnie and the gang, guessing these two wouldn't get along. She killed our second favorite brother, which is a big deal. Melania only likes two of her brothers. Get the knife, trade it to our sister for a statue, and hit the incel river main. Lake of Rot. This is my swamp. Oh god, my swamp hurt me! Melania is very bloodborne pilled, but so is Estelle. We'll wait for him to do silly moves, then hit him. Also, I said I didn't know which bloodborne boss to call Estelle in the Gehrman run, and someone in the comments said Amygdala. Yeah, that's correct. I just kind of forgot Amygdala exists. Or wait, is it Amygdala? Yeah, that's how Patches says it. Whoops, sorry. Time for another brother. The crab man is making a stew and I think it could use some onions. Give the necklace to Raya. It feels like Mel is just trying to flirt with every pretty girl she sees. I'm sure someone in our audience can relate. Wait, Raya's our niece, Never mind. Uh, forget that joke. After going through Volcano Manor, we bump into a godskin noble. You're not gonna get any rot goddess skin though. Bold of you to try and take it while you're within ducky dance range. Now our half brother Rikard is normally a bit of a pain, but it should go okay for Melania. We turn on the blender. It's big enough to hit in phase one, though our poise gets interrupted by the lava after the second jump. More importantly though, we can use the onion. That peels back layers of Rykard's health with percentile damage, and our sword is long enough to keep tickling the body. Until phase two, where his body is incorrect. Hell phase super early. We haven't even sent an onion out yet because, well, I'm stupid. I just wanted to test the reach of hand of Melania. After that, baloney, we definitely remember to get the rock going. It'll tick away while we go through another hell phase, 
good god. Finally, we get him low enough that he puts the snake back into his moveset and starts moving forward. That means we can dance if we want to. We can leave Rykard behind, because Rykard don't dance, and if he don't dance, then he'll fucking die. That's actually every Remembrance boss we can do without hitting the Royal Capital. Maybe we can do Fortisax, but why would you do the entire pain in the ass Fia quest when it just does itself off screen if you burn down the Erd Tree? Let's go to the capital. Gargoyles are my new favorite way to get there, and by that I mean my least favorite, but probably the fastest. Finlay joins us. Honestly, wish we could summon 80 more Spirit Ashes because this boss blows. They put out so many goddamn poison floors that are all massive and chunk, chunk, chunk away at our health. They also keep dodging the dance, despite our hitbox being massive and their hurtbox being massive. How? It goes bad. I quit out. Not counting it as a loss. Screw this boss. Come back, do it again, but wait until the gargoyles are looking at our gargoyle friend to dive in. There are still way too many fucking poison floors, but we make it out alive. Into the deep root depths, slash up some ants, and make our way to the foot of our second favorite brother, Godwin. R.I.P. to a real one. To be honest, we didn't actually know you very well, but Mikola said you were chill, and that's good enough to put you above Morgoth, Moog, Radon, and Rykard. Not actually all that hard. Fia's champs are NPCs. The dance destroys them. At least it's accurate to how most Elden Ring players interact with the ducky dance. They just die. Now it's time to go to the city, and I think you know we're gonna keep on dancing, even if we're dancing with ourselves. We actually skip the Erd Tree Avatar in the Royal Capital. It drops 50,000 runes and we need 190 to level up. Not really worth it. Gold free time. I thought the ducky dance would jump over the rock stomps, but it doesn't. Unprofessional bullshit. More got time. Let Finlay get his attention and then slice him up for looking at our girlfriend. She's with me, buddy. She loves me for my sense of humor. For example, Morgoth gets sick and then we hit him with the sick onion. He's like one of those dudes who gets the flu and the roner at the same time. Poor dude. That's a win though. Speaking of, four Biden lands. All this pandemonium stuff ain't over yet, so get your boosters. You can even get your booster and your flu vaccine at the same time. It's gonna be a rough day with a sore arm, but it's better than a rough week and maybe dying or killing someone by getting them sick. Mountaintops of the giant and we're just sprinting through to get to the Halley Tree. That means Castle's Hole first, but we hit everything in the Nile fight with the Onion. I don't think the ghosts can get sick, that's a bummer. But will they blend? Yes. Yes, they will. Then we just have to use the Ducky Dance on Nile a few times. We trade a little bit. He has big hitboxes that knock us out of the air, but overall, I'd say it goes fine. Might not seem nice to kill this old man, but he was pretending to be Millicent's dad to trick her into becoming a rock goddess or something. That's bad. Wait, that wasn't Gowrie? That was just a nice old man trying to help Latena get to the Halleck Tree. Uh, whoops. Liturgical Town. We kill a bunch more Albernerics. In for a penny, in for a pound, am I right? Then we're in the Halleck Tree. Home sweet home, baby. Love that rotten tree smell. Swag jump and then fight Loretta, who is down pretty bad for us. This is just a discussion where we make it clear Finlay is supposed to be here. We invited her here. Please stop telling her that we're not home or that we died in a bus crash and left a note in our will asking her not to come to the funeral. We just ducky dancer. All we gotta do. Riding down to LFL now. Obviously, we're not gonna die here. This is our house. Can we ducky dance across the waterfall? Kind of, but I forgot this is NG+. Oh! I can just run! Yeah, that's nice. Vextra Life says that you can't activate Melania's Great Rune until you finish Faramazula. That's a lie. Just run through the fortified manor. Go up the elevator. Kill the giant. You don't have to kill the giant. I just kind of think these are fun to fight. The big damage you get from the crit makes me happy. And yeah, warp gate is open. Vavoom, we're in the middle of an ocean with a locked door. Now it's time to fight ourselves. Fighting Melania before we fight Fire Giant is not something we're normally doing. But believe it or not, despite having a much worse ducky dance, this goes pretty well. Like we die a couple of times, it's Melania, but it's really not that bad. We have something Melania doesn't have, a girlfriend. Finlay is excellent at distracting Melania, which makes sense, they are in love. Then we can dive in with a ducky dance and really do a great amount of damage. It's pretty good at breaking Melania's poise as well. On some attacks, some attacks have super armor and we can't interrupt those and get a little fucked up. In phase two, we're also doing fine until the flower dive. Did they fix the tracking on that? I always thought that was a super free punish, but lately it's been getting me. Maybe it's a coincidence and I just got worse at dodging, but anecdotal evidence from my chat suggests I'm not the only one struggling with this Blossom. It's a joke for Twitch chat. Blossom was the person in chat who agreed with me. Want to get shouted out like that? You gotta join the Twitch chat. Only way. Follow me there. Next attempt, we tried to save our girlfriend for phase two, but you shouldn't delay love, folks. Embrace it openly or your doppelganger will kill you. Next attempt, we just kind of struggle to hit her with the dance 
dance, Melania is quick. And if we don't stay close enough to Finlay, we're not close enough to get her with the dance. Easy fix, get closer to our girlfriend, duh. It's also a big help that we have bleed on our sword, which chunks her down. Weird thing worth noting, Melania can be rot. She just has really high rot resistance. That's why we're not trying to do it. We can maybe try and use it to get the Kindred of Rot's Exaltation to pop, but I was using the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman. Also not the right move. You just need to kill her really, really fast. In Elden Ring, the best defense is always good offense. If bosses are dead faster, they have less time to use their big, bad, evil moves. We could have made this even faster if we went for Lord of Blood's Exaltation, but this was good enough. By swapping out the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman for one of our other combo talismans, we're able to turn the damage up high enough to end the fight quickly. Only need to keep that ducky pressure up and our damage will carry us to victory. Okay, so you're Melania. That don't impress me much. And hey gamers, that's still the hardest fight of the run. Time to party. First, we activate Melania's Great Rune to get that regen that Melania has. Just kidding, it's so much worse. You get a five second window after you get hit to heal up the damage of the last hit you took. Did you get hit by a combo? That sucks. Is the boss doing a big combo? You took the first hit from it, but then can't safely hit them with a counter for five seconds? Too bad for you. And just for good measure, your healing flasks heal you 30% less. Don't know why they added that. On the way to Moog, Anastia invades us from like really far away. Okay, come on, come on. Get a little closer, have an onion in this trying time, and then a ducky dance. Why not? The penguin just gets ducky. Our penguins waterfowl as well. Per Google, it looks like waterfowl are anseriforms, whereas penguins are spinosiforms. If you take nothing else away from this video, you also learned that. You also learned that spinosiforms has the word penis in it, and that's pretty funny. Time to fight our half-brother Moog, and hey, what is Mikola doing here? I do not approve of this union for, like, lots of reasons. Let's Goddess of Rot the Lord of Blood and see which one does better. This rot is tick tick ticking away, but it stops just short. And then we get hit with this hitbox while rolling. Sorry. Cory, slow it down. Okay, not only does it not touch us, we are underneath the stick. We are still rolling. Where are my iframes? Where did they go? I think I want my money back. <laughs> what are you gonna do, strong on me? <laughs> Next try, we really benefit from the Eleonora tier. While he's doing the phase transition, instead of getting melted, we melt him. Just a few more hits and that's the win. Should have been a first try, but whatever. Fire Giant next, wait, we haven't killed the Fire Giant yet? What a world. For phase one, we just blend up the foot, make a little foot lettuce salad. In phase two, time to add an onion. I know where the hand is gonna land, so I charge up the jump before he puts it there. Then it's just a couple of slices between his legs and we're done. Melina does her best Missy Higgins impression and asks us to set her on fire. Like three people enjoyed the Missy Higgins scar reference a few videos back. So there you go, Missy Higgins enjoyers. I'm keeping you fed. For the Godskin duo, we bring in Bernie and Rot, both of them down. Since you can apply the status effect to both of them and they share a health bar, it ticks down twice as fast. Very cool. As they spawn in, I make more onions. Always nice to have some caramelized onions on hand. I love adding them to a grilled cheese for a touch of salt and savory sweetness. We can do four to sacks, just gonna take 10 minutes to run across Lernia and hit the top of the study hall. Classic Mel move, just doing so much work for the ladies she likes. Hug up Fia, and then it's time for Fortis Axe. First, we get Finlay to join us, then we get Rotten on those toes. It's the most important piece. Basically, we won already just with the Rot ticks, but we can win faster if we dance on his feet. Dang, all this dance practice and we're still stepping on toes? Back to Faramazula, do the swag jump with the ducky dance again. Lovely. Time for the draconic plea sentinel. He's got a lot of moves that are hard to deal with, like these shockwave hitboxes that hit through him? That should be illegal. He objects to us being alive once and we have to come back. A more careful counselor, we can approach him more safely. Maybe you'll judge me for dying to this once, but high poise enemies just don't put the ball in Melania's court. Speaking of enemies with high poise and damage, Malakath. He also hits with combos, so that healing we're getting from Melania's great rune? Not happening. 
Ouch. Second death was my fault. I walked forward into phase two. You gotta walk backwards. See, when you walk backwards, you get the front flip, which tickled us a little bit, but we get an onion off. We shouldn't have, but we remain unpunished. Mally has some really low rot resistance, and honestly, just not that much health for this point in the game, so it's over at this point. Now, Placidious Axe has some big rot resistance. I did not realize that, but looking it up now, he has 90% of Melania's rot resistance. Yikes. It takes three onions to get him rotted. Four if you count the one that whiffs. My takeaway here is that maybe we should have actually tried to rot Melania. Could have helped. We're not going for the dance during the teleport phase. The best move is just a quick R1 while we can, while the rot slowly takes him down to his Omega laser phase. Then, during the Omega laser, we dance. Why do you always just spam ashes of war until you win? Uh, cause they're good, dude. I wanna win. For Gideon, we summon Finlay on the off chance that Gideon does get to attack us. I want some backup. Rot him and then dance. You still here? It's over. Go home. Yeah, I probably didn't need Finlay for that one. Godfrey time, our mom's ex, but I guarantee you Melania met this dude and they got along really well. Just kind of feels right to me. Sort of like getting the rod affliction on, then waiting for him to get distracted by Finlay. Hey, can you blame a guy? Phase two, instead of punishing the stance break with a crit, we turn it into a dance break. He starts doing the slow earthquake, but we punish and then just trade through for the big W. Maybe I let it get a little too close, but I thought we'd get a bleed. Sue me. Time to fight our dad. While he can't bleed, he can be rotted, so we do that. Ducky and dodge right before the grab, don't get grabbed, and then we actually go for the crit instead of the dance punish on the stance break. He stands up a little bit too fast. Ended up taking a hit from the final hammer slammer, which is a bit of a bummer. I've gotten better at avoiding it lately, or so I thought. On to phase two, we build the combos for massive damage on the Elden Beast. Even if it can't rot or bleed, we can slice it down. Elden Stars aren't that big of a deal, we can just heal through it. But then we get hit with the Elden Flurry attack. Haven't seen this one in a while, and I fucking hate it. Come back again, rot up Radagon to take a lot of his health off. Then wait for him to get distracted and dance on his ass. Punish the jump with a big charge attack and then a hammer slammer with some fast attacks. See, I am better at avoiding it. Stance break and crit into the Elden Beast. Charge attacks actually start the combo boost faster, fun fact. Faster than R1s, not the ducky dance. So uh, go to the ass and start slicing. Wait out the first rune, then some more breath. Finally, I'll get a little combo going. Stance break, I call it a dance break. Almost killed it, but we can finish him off as he goes for Elden Stars. No second rings. This NG plus run took six hours and 42 minutes. We died 13 times and killed 33 bosses. I do think we should maybe take a death off for the Moongrim parry because that was purely for chat funnies, but we'll leave it in there. Melania ends up being S tier, behind Bernie, much better than Marika, and I think there are a few reasons. One, Ducky Dance does huge damage. Even if it's not as good as the version Melania actually uses, it's still really good. Rot is also incredibly strong, and so is Bleed, chunking off huge percentages of bosses' health, which is even more important in New Game Plus, where bosses have way more health. I think this would have gone a bit better with some heavier armor for better poise for the Ducky Dance. We did invest in Endurance a lot to get stamina, but it is really hard to complain about a long ass katana with bleed and an ash of war that turns your damage up to 11 while already dealing amazing damage right away oh swap the great rune for radon's ironically it is the best one for millennia to watch these runs live follow me on twitch we're writing new ways to play elden ring all the time join the patreon to support the channel vote in the polls and watch exclusive content make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video